Are you one of those people that likes aquariums that are full of fish that are constantly fighting and killing each other? Or do you prefer one of those more laid back, peaceful tanks? I understand the argument that it's cool to have fish that are mean in your tank. I used to be that guy when I was 19. But as I've gotten older, I've grown to appreciate fish that don't give me all the headaches from being mean and nasty all the time. I'm pretty sure I got over that pretty quick. Yeah, I'm known for keeping fish that are mean, but hey, listen, let me tell you something. Those tanks give me more headaches than you can imagine. You can only keep these fish with those. They need a big tank. They'll eat anything they can fit in their mouth and don't even think about putting any decorations in there. They'll just tear them up. It's so much easier to have an aquarium that you don't have to worry about all the time, believe me. So if you're one of those people that's interested in setting up an aquarium that you don't have to worry about, here is our list of fish that are, well, mean and you may not know about it. So it'll help you to know the ones that maybe you should stay away from. Okay, we got to start off with this, just a blanket statement about monster fish. Otherwise, this list would just be a bunch of fish where we'd be saying the exact same thing over and over and over again. This fish is mean. It'll kill anything and everything in its path. If it can fit in its mouth, consider it food. Whether we're talking about Oscars, Dovi, Red Devils, Arowanas, Catfish, it's the same thing every time. These are big fish that are gonna give you an endless supply of frustration. And for a lot of people, they're not appealing anyway because a lot of times they end up in tanks all by themselves because, well, they've killed all their tank mates. And it's the same story for all of them. I know, I keep Oscars and you must be thinking, John, how could you talk about them this way? Well, that's the thing, you're right, I do love them. Oscars and bikers are pretty much my favorite fish in the moment, but. I gotta be honest with you about them. I can't allow my bias towards these fish to lead you to buying them and then find out they're a massive headache. You need to know what you're getting into before committing to a fish. And with something like Oscars, you're getting a fish that's lovable and goofy and will swim up to the front glass and wag its tail at you. But then five minutes later, change his mood and completely annihilate everything in the tank. All large cichlids and most monster fish are this way. They are ticking time bombs that'll annihilate everything in their aquarium. They'll devastate all of your decor. And there's strict limitations as to what fish you can put with them. So if you're into a peaceful laid back aquarium, these fish ain't it. I love them, but you gotta know that keeping this kind of fish isn't like keeping a school of Tetris. It's like the difference between keeping a Pomeranian and a Rottweiler. Although I've had two Rottweilers in my time and they were two of the biggest teddy bears I've ever seen. Kind of like Oscars. So what do I know? If you aren't aware of Tiger Barb's aggression, then this may come as quite a surprise for you. They may look like sweet little fish, but they have an attitude. All of a sudden you see your fish have frayed or missing fins and you're like, what's happening here? Wait, what's going on? It, it can't, it can't be the tiger barbs. It can't. There's a good chance that it is because tiger barbs are known for being fin nippers. You don't really need to worry about them killing your other fish, just picking at them till they have no fins left. I'm not really sure what sparks this behavior and I don't know that there's a way to prevent it either. It's just one of those things you gotta know going in could be a huge problem. This is especially concerning if you have fish like angels or sword tails or even Congo tetras. These are fish that have fins that stand out and make them so appealing to fish keepers. If they lose those fins, the angels will barely be able to swim. The sword tails will become platies and the Congos just become a silver fish. Tiger barbs are bright and bold colored fish that look like they would do absolutely amazing with other tank mates because they would be so pretty in there with them. But the fact that they can alter their fins and cause a lot of damage, that could cause an infection or even possibly kill them in the long run, makes you want to just stay away from them. But the green ones are just so pretty, like a whole school of them. Oh, they're gorgeous.
Convict cichlids being on a list of fish that are mean is a surprise to no one except for that guy that just went out and bought him on impulse, brought him home and showed his friend and his friend said, what have you done? He then tells you what these fish are capable of and you think, oh boy, I wish I would have known that before I bought them. Don't buy fish on impulse. The thing is, some fish like angels and most other egg laying cichlids will be super aggressive when they're breeding and protecting eggs or babies, not convicts. I swear they're mean for the sake of being mean. Now listen, I know there's gonna be people in the comments that are gonna say, I've kept convicts before and they weren't a problem at all. I understand, not all of them are gonna be a menace, but when we're talking about convicts, most of them are gonna be. This can be said about pretty much all the fish on this list and it goes both ways. You may have had one of the fish on this list that never gave you problems. Just like if we were to do a list of the nicest fish, people would say, hey, wait, I've had one of those and it killed everything in my tank. Think of it like human beings. Most of us are generally good, but every once in a while, you run into a Jeffrey Dahmer. The best thing to do when it comes to picking fish is to go with the general consensus. If most of the stories you hear are how nasty this fish is, stay away from it. But if most say, yeah, I had them and they didn't bother anyone, you know you shouldn't have any problems. But not convicts. <laughs> you just have to trust me on this one. I used to think they were called convicts because of the black bars looking like a jail cell or whatever, but no, I don't think it's that way at all. I think they're called convicts because they should all be locked up. I've got a nightmare story from my personal experience with convicts that I'm going to be sharing in a future episode of the Tank Talk podcast that I do with Jason Adams from Primetime Aquatics. If you haven't subscribed to that channel, do it now. I'll put a link up here. It's a lot of fun. Jason and I do a new episode every single week and it's amazing. We have an absolute blast. So make sure you're subscribed to that. And also, hey, listen, do us the favor, subscribe to this channel too, if you haven't done it already. We're so close to 500,000. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I absolutely love Imbunas. And we could do a whole list of just mean ones. Demasoni, zebras, one other that we'll cover in the members video in this one, Uratus. Yes, I realize I say this name really weird. John makes fun of me all the time for it, but hey, I have my own language. Anyway, Uratus are one of those Mbunas that are super common and you'll find them in almost every pet store. But in my experience, I've never had one that's not a terrorist in their tank. It's like, come on, you're in a super clean tank. You're getting fed all this awesome food. You're living the life. What the heck are you so mad at? It's true that African cichlids in general are territorial and develop a hierarchy in an aquarium, but most of them will eventually fall in line and there'll be peace. Well, not if you have a Uratus in the tank. I don't know what it is about them, but they never seem to get with the program and just be happy. It doesn't matter if they're breeding, protecting territory, or trying to be the tank boss. They're always angry. It's really sad too, cause these are super pretty fish that are yellow and black and would contrast very well with other Mbunas, but they have to ruin it with their attitude. It's like a room full of Karens. <sighs> you know, I've always started out segments about flower horns thinking to myself, oh, get ready, John, cause that community is gonna come after you. But it hasn't happened. Flower horn people are super passionate about these fish. And if you have the balls to say anything about them, they'll assemble and take you down. But here's the thing. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm stating a fact. Flower horns are one of the meanest fish in the hobby. Don't believe me? Well, tell me why you never see them with any other fish in the tank. There's two kinds of people that have flower horns. There's the people that have them in the tank alone because they know what they're capable of. And then there's the people who haven't figured it out yet, but once they do, their fish will be alone too. But hopefully they figure it out before all the other fish get killed. There's been a few fish on this list already that we've said we have no idea why they're so mean. Well, not flower horns. No, I figured this one out, but don't be too impressed. It didn't take a genius to solve this one. 
You'd be pissed off too if you were walking around all day with a giant nutsack on your forehead that's so big that sometimes it's even bigger than your body. And the crazy flower horn people do competitions to see who can have the biggest nutsack. It's madness. This is where the flower horn people will probably get mad, but it's just never made sense to me. Let's have a competition to see who can create the largest deformity on their fish. I don't know, it's weird, but maybe one of you flower horn people can explain it to me in the comments why this is a cool thing. I don't know. Actually don't, because I really don't care and it's really stupid. This one shouldn't surprise anybody because betta fish are mean. That's why they call them Siamese fighting fish. To be honest, this one is so obvious we consider not putting it on the list at all, but I guess it's possible there could be a new fish keeper that's considering starting with a beta and doesn't realize how they are yet. I know for me, when I first got into the hobby, I didn't know they were mean. I just thought they were alone because they're always in such small tanks. But once I learned a little more about them, I knew what was actually going on. But with betas, it's not like the other fish on the list. They're usually pretty good with most of the other tank mates. It's the other betas that they want to get into fights with and have an attitude problem with. You can put betas with pretty much all community type fish and for the most part, they'll be fine. But if you put two males together, they'll immediately start fighting and won't stop till one of them's dead. I guess it should be mentioned that betas are also related to gouramis. So it's almost a guarantee if you put them together, you'll get the same results, but pretty much any community fish will be fine. But there are exceptions. If you're setting up a five gallon for just one beta, then you don't have anything to worry about. They'll be fine in a five gallon aquarium by themselves. But a lot of people want their betas to have friends and tank mates. So if that's what you're doing, it shouldn't be a problem. Again, just do your research to find out what a good tank mate for them would be. I have a beta that eats ram's horn snails. Yeah. Okay, this is a little different than the other items on this list, but it had to be mentioned that most fish, whether they're known for being peaceful and laid back or super aggressive, it doesn't matter. If they're breeding, oh boy, they can get nasty. Yeah, unless we're talking about live bears, which are just swimming around, pooping out fish all day long, but the vast majority of your egg laying fish are gonna be this way, so look out. If you think about it, this is totally an instinctual thing. Fish eggs are a delicacy for other fish. And for people too, but I've never quite understood the whole caviar thing. That's just weird to me. But you know what? I eat a ton of chicken eggs, so maybe it's not that weird. I don't know. If there's a nice batch of fresh fish eggs laying around, the other fish in the tank are gonna take notice and wanna get some of those delicious pieces of fish candy. So it's the parent's job to protect them. If you really think about it, it's Kind of sweet. The parents are just protecting their young, but this can lead to tons of headaches for the fish keeper because they'll fight to the death. I mean, think about it. You would too if something or someone was trying to eat your baby. The dingo ate your baby. This is why it's best practice to have your fish that are breeding be isolated in a tank because the other fish will constantly be trying to get to the eggs and the parents will be constantly defending them. And let me tell you, nothing will bring out aggression more than a parent protecting their eggs. So once you get past that, oh, it's so cute, they laid eggs, stage, get those breeders out of there or at least get them behind some kind of barrier or the tank divider or something like that. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. So there you go. Now you know some fish that you might want to avoid if you want to have that nice and peaceful tank. Did you like our list and want to see three more fish that we would caution you about? Click the join button down below, become a channel member. You're going to get three extra bonus items from every one of our Sunday list videos.
If you want to support the channel, you can do that easily by subscribing. Help us get to that 500K mark. And also, if you want to take it to another level, you can check out our website, keepfishkeeping.com. We have everything you'll ever need on there, and it's all stuff that you're going to buy anyway, so you might as well buy it from us. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you again next week. See ya.